I do want to ask as well, I mean, the Department of Justice was very swift in responding to school board members who felt like they were being harassed and intimidated um, a couple months back. Does the president feel that the demonstrations outside of, say, Justice Alito's home, um, are those attempts to interfere or intimidate? Obviously, the purpose of these protests are to coerce the judges into changing their rulings. But watch Jen Psaki predictably explain that it's different when Democrats do it. Well, I think I said yesterday, but I'm happy to repeat because I think it's important for everybody to hear, that the president's long-standing view has been that violence, threats, and intimidation of any kind have no place in political discourse. And we believe, of course, in peaceful protests. Does he really, though? Because he and the rest of you openly supported BLM and Antifa as they rampaged around the country for two years, saying things like, Antifa is just an idea. But let's concede that point for now because it's a distraction from the actual issue here, which we'll be getting to right away. But first, take a quick moment to hear about this special offer for preparewithdronetech.com. Friends, the world is in serious danger right now. Inflation is causing food prices to skyrocket. The global supply chain continues to collapse, and the coming food shortages will be worse than anything we've lived through. In times like these, what should you do? Go to preparewithdronetech.com and invest in long-term food storage from My Patriot Supply while you still can. My Patriot Supply is the largest preparedness company in America, with millions of satisfied customers, me included. Their food lasts for up to 25 years in storage. When you need it, you'll have it and you'll avoid the government lines. Act quickly and save $150 on a vital three-month emergency food kit. This kit provides a variety of delicious foods totaling over 2,000 calories a day. You won't go hungry with this emergency food, period. Go to preparewithdronetech.com and save $150 on every three month food kit. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Protect your family and secure this emergency food today. Preparewithdronetech.com. What I do find is interesting, um, and I think most many people have noted, is that there are voices on the right who have called out um, this uh, protests that are happening uh, while remaining <coughs> silent for years on protests that have happened outside of the homes of school board members, the Michigan Secretary of State, or including threats made to women seeking reprodu reproductive health care or even an insurrection against our capital. So I know that there's an outrage right now, I guess, about uh, protests that have been peaceful to date, and we certainly continue to encourage that outside of judges' homes, and that's the president's position. But the silence is pretty deafening about all of the other intimidation that we've seen to a number of people. Look who's talking. Right, of course. So she's now going to lecture us on hypocrisy while rewriting history. So her examples here are school board meetings, which are actually an example of the government and state-run media coming down in an extreme way on concerned parents as potential domestic terrorist threats. Her other example is that time a very small group of people protested the Michigan election board and <laughs> I can barely even say it shouted loudly. One of the things that we've seen is uh, right now they're they're kneeling in prayer, but one of the things that we've seen is uh, them chanting very loudly. We're going to get a little bit closer here. We don't want to get too close. Uh, a lot of people uh, in the crowd are, are, are not wearing masks. We're, we're keeping a, a respectful distance, um, but a loud and very boisterous crowd. Uh, but so far, it's a very boisterous crowd, they're very aggressive. They've got bullhorns. And of course, that big Democrat Party media lie that an insurrection took place on January 6th. We're all hypocrites for daring to question the wisdom of protesting at the homes of judges before they're supposed to decide a case. Obviously, these examples are really grasping at straws. But it's just pathetic because the Democrats and their media raged about every single one of these things. And other right-leaning protests, like the Tea Party and the anti-lockdown protests. To the point, it's become an unspoken rule that the only legitimate protest is one pushing a left-wing slash Democrat party agenda. But again, she and the Democrats are purposely avoiding the actual issue here. But the silence is pretty deafening about all of the other intimidation that we've seen a to a number of people. This is a pending court okay. case, though. That's where the federal law comes into place. This is a pending court case. Well, but I, I think that... Uh, 
Oh, 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 just about that. Oh, oh, oh. Well, but I, I think that uh, intimidation and protests and intimidation outside of the homes of school board members, the Michigan Secretary of State, uh, you know, intimidation and threats against people seeking legal reproductive health care uh, and against our capital and American democracy also warrant some outrage. And we haven't really seen that. <laughs> we haven't really seen that, she says. There's this new trend with a lot of Republicans going hyper local. They're targeting school board elections in the coming year. They're calling for more parental control. How much of a concern do you think that is? Do you think that plays into what we're already seeing in these attacks on democracy? And we've went forward on that prosecution because of the actions within that boardroom, which if you've ever seen the video, it really has the hint of the insurrection on January 6th as far as the, the mob mentality, the heated rhetoric. If you call Trump followers racist and mass, they simply coalesce around each other and become even more defensive, just as they would in, say, a terrorist organization. In any case, the new Fox News reporter did hit on the actual issue here, which is that mobs of leftists who have a history of rioting are protesting at the homes of judges who are about to decide on a case with the obvious intention of coercing them into changing their rulings. Something that Saki just stated is perfectly fine with the Biden regime. In fact, they encourage it. This is actually really serious. We are now living in a country where the precedent has been set that it's okay to show up to a judge's home and protest before they decide on a case, thereby destroying the legitimacy of the Supreme Court or any court for that matter. Talk about an attack on American institutions. Once again, they're everything they accuse us of being. Except we all know that the second this blows back against their agenda in some way, then the rules will change to suit the Democrats. They surprisingly admitted this on CNN yesterday. Eric, what about trying to apply equal standards? You know, if there were Republicans protesting outside liberal justices and, and the toner, tenor got hot, do you think it would be the same principles at play? Or would, would some people be having a different opinion? It, it is the same principle, um, although people would react differently. Yes, absolutely. Republicans would be treated differently if they did this because it's wrong. But as I constantly remind you, Democrats will always rationalize it as different when they do it. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Please hit that like button, share and subscribe. Then leave a comment to help the algorithm. Thanks a lot.